Hi, I'm Dr. Toby Mayer, the Beverly Hills Institute of Aesthetic and Reconstructive Plastic Surgery. We've been doing facial plastic surgery for more than 35 years, and we like a natural look. We have our patients bring in pictures of faces that they like to give us just an idea of what things they like and how much of that particular feature they like. So this year for jawline and cheeks, in the male, we had Johnny Depp and Justin Timberlake. And you'll see that the features of both of them are the same. They both have very good uh, cheeks. They have prominent cheeks. They're not flat. They have a prominent chin and male jawline. Without the beard, you can tell on Justin Timberlake that this is even more pronounced. It's interesting to note that Justin Timberlake's chin is just a little bit lower here than it is here. So no one has a perfect face. I would bet that if you ask Justin Timberlake, do you have an asymmetric chin, he would say no because he's never noticed it. But as soon as a plastic surgeon does something to that chin, they will notice every little thing that's there with a microscope. <laughs> so let's take a look at how we take someone and make them closer to this, not an exact model of this. This patient comes in and he's the antithesis of the previous picture of Johnny Depp or of Justin Timberlake. He has very flat cheeks, almost no cheek and no chin, and his jawline is obscured because of excess fat. So this patient has had a chin implant, he's had jawline contouring with liposuction, and he's had cheek implants to fill out both cheek areas. You notice how much thinner he looks just by doing that because you give the skin a more prominent cheek for this to hang from. So he doesn't look like Johnny Depp or Justin Timberlake, but he looks far more masculine afterward because this is a more feminizing, soft, uh, uh, cuddly bear look versus this. So patients are very happy when that's what they're seeking. If we look at an older patient who'd like to have that same sort of bone construction that he had when he was young, you see what's happened here is the cheek looks flatter as he's aged. In all of us, this drops forward and down and so he needs a facelift to reposition this as well as remove some of the excess muscles to reestablish the jawline. If we look in the after picture, you see he has, you don't see a scar because the incision was done inside, so there's no scar in front of the ear. He just looks rested. He's a professional person, so he doesn't want to have a done, pulled look. So we don't want to do that. We just want to give him back those male characteristics of a good cheek and a good jawline without looking artificial. No one realizes that he's had surgery because he has a very natural look. So in summary, when someone has a flat cheek or a flat jawline, due to either aging in this case or in the previous patient because that's just the way they were born, they can be fixed. Once again, the idea that we have is creating a natural, non-surgical look so that people don't end up like many of the movie stars that you see that look odd and different than they used to look. If we look at another example of how we can make the jawline and the cheek accentuated, Without doing any surgery, just a chemical peel was done on yours truly, and this shows that it looks like the cheek is more defined and the jawline is more defined, and all of that came from eliminating hyperpigmentation from the face, all of the brown coloring, and it makes one look considerably younger and no surgery is needed. That's why you have to see a competent plastic surgeon to give you the choices that are needed in achieving your goals, not the surgeon's goals. You make me feel so young You make me feel so spring has sprung And every time I see you grin I'm such a happy individual
individual the moment that you speak.